All right, round three, we've got the choice we'll play first, and we'll keep this. Don't have any ramp, but we've got early stuff we're keeping busy with, so I can get behind it. I kind of like being able to leave up, remove soul, and impulse on turn two. So let's go ahead and ponder, see what we got coming up here. Um, I think we want to shuffle because none of these matter, so. Yes. All right. Well, it's okay. So impulse in, remove soul. Some good options here. Guess we'll impulse, dig in for ramp, make our stroke of genius better. Geez, well, I guess we're taking wall of roots. Kaiga, not bad. All right. Can still leave up the remove soul, which is nice. Hmm. I imagine black will be the color of choice. Yes. Yes, as a matter of fact. All right. Well, we have Vincer too, actually. That's not bad. Uh, can I do... Yeah, I can actually play Relic and still leave up Vincer. Or not. No, I guess I can't. Play Relic. One, two, three. I can only leave up, remove soul, but that's still fine. So we'll play the Relic. I may actually want him to be able to resolve his first spell. The reason being, because um, then if I play Kaiga and he kills it, I can just gank his creature. But we'll see. I may have to, if it's like an obliterator, I'm just going to, I'll just remove that. It's not worth stealing. Um, I think we will use a Wall of Roots thing, though. I want to get the full... I'm going to try and, uh, I think I'm going to try and Stroke of Genius. Although maybe it's just a Kaiga is all I need. Ooh, Wolfer. Nice. Yeah, let's, let's drop the Kaiga. I think that's fine. Although, I guess Wolfer is actually better. Because then I can play Kaiga next turn. No Soul Bond. Yeah, so now I can play Kaiga next turn. Have some fatty fats. Spectres, definitely not a big deal. Not when you got Kaiga and Wolfer. All right, so now we add blue. And... Uh, Drop the Kaiga. Uh, I still want to use Wall of Roots triggers, I think, because of uh, getting that extra charge counter on Relic. Swing for eight. Can't even really kill Kaiga because I just steal the Specter.
damnation, I guess. It's actually okay. So now we get, like, a really nice uh, stroke of genius. Not, like, a really nice one, but not a bad one. I guess I actually wait on stroke. I can just oracle. Play a land. Two. I actually shouldn't have played that land, but it's all right. Let's see if we get another one on top. We do. And, well, it worked out. So now we have Venser up. And we have an Oracle of Moldaya. And a stroke of genius that's going to be nice at some point. Yeah, right, let's just venture that. Then next turn he's going to get a nice massacre worm, I guess. Hmm. I wish this actually countered spells. The problem is if I bounce it, he can just play it next turn and punish me harder. So I think I'm just going to set up for a stroke of genius. Draw a million cards. I mean, we're taking some punishment, but... I think this is okay. Prime Speaker definitely sucks here, but it's all right. Let's just bust the stroke. Draw all the cards we can. All right, so we're up to nine resources next turn. We can get the Kiora on. No, well, it's pretty harsh, I guess, but can't do anything about it. I guess we can do Kiora plus Venser. Okay, it's actually not that bad. So, yeah, we don't have that. That's okay. Let's play a land. So we'll drop the Kiora. Turn off the Massacre Worm. And then we'll Vincer Bounce the Kakusho on our opponent's turn. Hopefully they do something pre-combat. This could work out nice if he taps like this, because now I can't replay the Cuckoo Show. Jeez. Yeah, Gristlebrand's pretty harsh. I wish I could do something about that. I can't. So, we'll let the Gristlebrand resolve. Which means Kiora's got... A new target. Attacking me, interestingly. But still going to just bounce the... Well, I guess I could... If he's attacking me, I could take it. Vincer into turn. Bounce Gristlebrand. Kiora Kakusho.
And I have a blocker for Massacre Worm. I can play like a Hermit for more blockers on that. We're getting low on life, but I think I have, I've got to take this. That's actually just weird that... Bounce Gristle Brand. And put a charge on this. Untap. Draw. Guess we'll add a green. Play a land. Let's play Polycranos. Let's play Prime Speaker. Draw some cards. Um, there's a Kozilek, but not sure that's going to be enough. So we got to turn off Flyer. I need to find a Riptide Laboratory. That's what I needed. I can play an Arbor Elf. I guess I might as well. Does essentially the same thing as putting a charge counter on Relic, except gives me another creature on board. I guess I can Monstrosity for quite a bit, but presumably not enough to kill Gristlebrand in 8-8. But I might be able to attack and do it. And being able to prevent the damage to Gristlebrand at least turns off the lifelink, which is good. Oh, yeah. Now you still get Gristlebrand, which is pretty harsh. Maybe I bring in the Wasteland for the Nyxos now. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I guess we lose to that. So, I guess Wasteland has to come in. Um, anything else? I don't know. I don't know. That was harsh, though. Mono Black. Lost to Mono Black. Uh... Wasteland for Nykthos? That seems pretty bad, actually. Our mana base is so... Just not good. It seems dangerous. I don't think I've got a sideboard for this deck, to be honest. I think I just have to pick and choose my Remove Soul, and the choice I made was not the correct one. I should just let my Wall of Roots die. Alright, let's try this again. So he's playing Mono Black Fatties. No ramp, too, besides Nick, though, so that's surprising, actually. Uh, this hand's fine. Not as quick as I'd like it to be, but it's adequate. Turn one Nick, though, you say. It's interesting. So I guess we get a turn three Polycranos. That's not bad. And he can't turn three Gatekeeper. So that's actually kind of good too. No. Oh. Well, I guess. Well, it's pretty good. Turn two Desecration Demons. Pretty good. But Wolf or Silverheart's not a bad draw. Unfortunately, the Nykthos, yeah. Problem is now uh, now he can Gatekeeper. Or I guess he can't. 
Never mind. If I draw a land, we're actually okay. Not quite. Well. Would have preferred to not have to. Uh, I wish I could sack it right now, too, but I just can't. Oh, I, I can actually, yeah. This actually works out pretty nicely now that I think about it. So we'll get a green and a blue. No plays. Let's get that wolfer out. No sacks. No plays. Remove soul. Not bad. Guess we play the wall of roots to sack so the demon can't block. And, uh,. I'm trying to think if there's something else I can do. Like use the wall of roots here for some value. Could do it to play Teferi, but I kind of want to leave up Remove Soul. I don't know why, though. Doesn't seem important. I guess getting Teferi here is pretty good. All right, so we got that game. Uh, just gonna have to try game three here. Elder definitely worked out against Desecration Demon, but Demon is good. Turn two Demon is really good. Turn two Desecration Demon. Yeah. Uh huh. Remove Soul is very important in this match. Is there anything else? I definitely don't want Show and Tell. <laughs> Not at all. Um, Wasteland for Nykthos is really it. And it's like, do I really want to do Wasteland for Nykthos? I kind of do. He's got all the fatties. I, I guess I do. But I don't think I cut... I almost think I don't cut a land for it. Actually, I can cut a Riptide for it. I'd, I'd rather do Wasteland than Riptide in this match. Even though, you know, it's cool bouncing and doing all that. I think getting his one non-basic is more important. So, everything else seems fine, I guess. Sand seems fine, actually. Mulls to five and keeps. Hmm, the aggressive start. Rampant. I like that on top. Yeah, I think we're going to do Rampant instead of Grim Monolith. Does that not make sense, though? 
Maybe that doesn't make sense, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I feel like it. And I guess we get a blue source. Hippie. Hippie's pretty good. I guess I uh, I can actually Kiora turn off Hippie, and then he's probably motivated to attack Kiora. I don't want to randomly discard something here. So I think I actually do Kiora. Take an additional beating from Diagraph Ghoul, but he might attack Kiora here. I'm not sure. I hope this has to deal damage, yeah. I was like, hope it has to deal damage for that to be good. And he is attacking Kiora, so that's, that's good. Man, he's not missing plays at all. That sucks. All right. Uh, Ponder plus Polycranos this turn. Otherwise, Grim Monolith, Grim Monolith, Ponder, Polycranos. I can do that, too. I think we... Well, we turn off Master of Feast. That's first and foremost. So that way we're at least drawing... Do I have the resources to kill Hippie and play Polycranos this turn? Grim Monolith, land, three, no, I don't. That's okay. Well, let's uh, prevent all damage from Master. Let's... Do a monolith. Let's play a land. Let's do a relic with the monolith into Polycranos. Then I can't ponder, but we'll have a nice monstrosity. And I'm drawing off master. Kind of want to ponder here. I've got six resources currently. Jeez, I use a lot of time. Uh, let's get the relic. I guess ponder is kind of important here, isn't it? All right, I changed my mind. I'm going to ponder. We're kind of in a hurry. Yeah, let's shuffle that. Jeez, that's awful. So now I can Wall of Roots plus Polycranos in case Gatekeeper. So three, four, five, six. Yeah. Three, four, Wall of Roots. Use it. And I've already used Kiora. All right. Get to draw off the master. He does get to kill Kiora, but I guess he can't make us discard. And we get to bash back Polycranos reasonably well. That was his last... That was the card he drew. He mulled a five. Come on. It's like a bad joke. His deck is like... F the thing that's frustrating about this, his deck is full of... That's just dumb. His deck's full of like eight drops. How is he? <sighs> so 
So I can monstrosity for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can monstrosity for two. So I guess we kill hippie. Can I play relic and still do, let's see, relic, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, and still fight. I guess we do that. Hermit's pretty good. Stinkweed Imp. I have to find an answer for that master. Ooh, that's a good one. That way we can draw and still bounce it. I think my priority is getting Hermit down, though, since I actually need threats here. Um, so let's bash with Polycranos. I don't mind if he do does some double blocking. It makes sense. I'll take out the skin render. It's just dredging. Oh, this has Death Touch. I didn't even realize that. It doesn't matter. I can't do anything about it anyway. So we'll play the Hermit. Draw from the Master. Ooh. There's another nice one, actually. So now we'll definitely Vince there. That's okay. Can't replay Master either, which is kind of nice. Oh, that's really nice. All right. Let's... Uh Spencer, bounce. Then we'll take out his stuff here. That way we don't have to pay for deranged hermit so I can get the Kaiga down. Although I, I probably pay for the hermit if I'm going to be left with a couple squirrels. I really have to hurry. I'm taking way too much time. How much resources do I have? I, I need to count, and that takes time too. One, four, seven, eight, nine. So I have to pay five for this. It's not quite enough, but I think it is worth it. Paying the echo. That's a that's a good draw. So one, two, three, four. Don't have the resources. We'll bash for five. Play the Arbor Elf. Pass. Still in pretty good shape here. I think Master of the Feast is still his play. We can just do a Taiga. 
I didn't have to play for Hermit. I didn't have to play or pay the Echo on the Hermit there. It might have been better just stroke for a million. That's actually interesting. I like that a lot more. Ultimate price would have been twice as devastating on um, Kaiga with an empty board. So that actually worked out kind of nice for us. Now I can just stroke for a billion. Draw like everything we need. Let's just draw eight. Get in for some damage. And discard some lands. Admittedly, not as good as I would have liked, but we're still okay here. If he plays the master, getting the, the Kaiga is huge. Alright, so... Let's play Island. Let's play Kaiga. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can do Prime Speaker. Draw five more cards. Or, or play Teferi. I think we just draw five more cards. Cancel, tap forest, prime speaker, two, three, four, five, six, draw five, frost titan's huge too, yeah, frost titan's probably just going to give us victory next turn. Five cards left in our deck, too. I do have to draw, but I think we're going to win before that. I can't even play Kozlik without dying. Okay, maybe I drew too many cards. <laughs> Perhaps I drew too many. Green or white? Well, that's good, because he can't hit the Frost Titan, so I don't care about that. If I block the master, do I win? I'm trying to think. Because, yeah. I don't think I would have. I think the attack there might have been okay. Alright. So, let's play the land. Let's play Frost Titan. Doesn't matter. Tap master. Can I do anything about that? can't bounce that dude, can I? So I guess we just swing for the fences here. <laughs> now we just pass. Leave up the remove soul. I love how the master is like working us really hard here. As long as I can counter a creature, I think we're fine. Oh no, damnation. I didn't think about that. 
Mm, that's not going to do it. I think we just barely beat a mole to five, is what just happened. Wow. Well, we're really, really lucky to get the 2-1 uh, out of this draft since this was a pretty mediocre deck, but uh, it really took like our opponent mulliganing to 5 and almost beating us. That was really close. I actually thought we'd lost that for a second there. That was. It really came down to some... Uh, I mean, it, it really came down right to the wire. Even Frost Titan was like a pretty necessary component of us winning this, so that worked out. Um, we'll see you for the next one.